Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this video, I'm gonna cover Xano's newest integration with NC Scale. NC Scale is a really cool and powerful no-code tool uh, that enables observability and monitoring in your no-code stacks. So the integration with Xano will allow you to automatically sync all of your uh, API request history and logs and background task logs with NC Scale, as well as create um, custom logs to send to NC Scale within your function stacks if there are uh, pieces of logic that you care about and you want to track. Um, so this observability and monitoring by NC Scale allows you to uh, really implement uh, reliability and security in your no-code stacks at scale uh, and also help improve things like troubleshooting and really giving you that uh, thousand foot bird's eye view with some enhanced uh, logging and monitoring really. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, a little tutorial so we can show you how it all works. So jumping over to a Xano workspace now, this integration is really easy to get set up. It's actually through our Xano Connect Center. So on your left-hand navigation bar, if you go to Connect, you'll see that there is NC Scale and you just wanna go ahead and first just hit Connect. And it'll ask you to sign in to NC Scale or create account if you haven't already. And, once, and if you have one, you'll see that you can have some different uh, workspaces within NC Scale. So you'll just wanna connect whichever workspace makes the most sense uh, for your use case to your Xano one just to enable that observability monitoring. So I'm just gonna select this Xano NC scale one and go ahead and hit continue. And that will take just a moment and you'll see, it will say configure here on the NC scale connection. And you really don't have to do anything. This will already be pre-configured so that your sync with your API history and your task history is enabled in log statements. Log statements will allow you to actually uh, insert and send different logs within a function stack. So we can go through that, but everything will already be enabled. And if we go to my logs in NC scale, I've set this up so that it's already triggered some logs for different API endpoints and tasks. And you can see we really get a very nice view of everything that's happening in our Xano workspace, which, which is awesome. We can see our tasks that are running, uh, even our API request history and any manuals, we can see the status of them. If there were things like errors, let me go ahead and refresh this, see if there's anything new that comes. And you can see there's a couple more that came in here, but you know, if I just go ahead and, and click in here, you can see we get um, everything that uh, is valuable to us, what workspace it was in, our API URL, execution time, we get all the request headers. Uh, we'd also get that uh, input or request body if provided. Uh, if, in an API endpoint. So really gives us all this information and these logs are held for, I believe 30 days in NC scale. So really powerful th stuff here. And let's just jump back to Xano because I wanna show what that uh, individual send log function looks like. So we just jump to an API endpoint here and maybe I'll just go into this query all users, for example. So if we go into our function stack and once we have connected, NC scale, we'll see this connected option here. And we have this NC scale send log function. And this is really an API call to NC scale. And what we can do here is if we want to basically send a log uh, within function stacks, sort of set that up manually. Uh, if we care about more granular log uh, in one of our functions or function stacks, we can go ahead and do that here. And you can see we can define uh, this different severity. So verbose, info, warning, error, critical, these are all documented in NC Scale's documentation. They all have basically different meanings. Uh, critical, I believe, is a 500 error. Uh, error is gonna be 400, et cetera, et cetera. Warning, 300, info, 200. So this would mean something might be successful. We can define a custom message, event name. We can send additional data here in this JSON extra, this payload. Um, all this cool stuff. So I'm just gonna say, we'll just say test here and I'll save this. And so this API endpoint will run as normal and you know, I'll still get my all my users back. But what also just happened is we sent that log to uh, NC scale. Now, obviously in this example, this is a very simple API endpoint. Maybe if I had a larger function stack and there is, I wanted to insert this after a set of particular data then this might really come in handy. But let's jump over to NC scale now 
and check the log that was created. And here you can see my test message that I sent individually. So as you can see, we can do a little more granular uh, logging enabled by that NC scale function, which is really just a call through to their API, but we've sort of done all the heavy lifting for you to make it a lot simpler. So this Xano NC scale pairing is going to be really powerful, uh, especially as you, you know, test and expand into production to really, really see a more holistic view of everything that is that is happening in your Xano workspace. NC scale also has integrations with other no-code tools. Uh, definitely check it out in case you're pairing Xano with some other no-code tools. There might also be NC scale integrations there so you can really see, get eyes on everything that is happening, really help you for identifying anything you need to troubleshoot and continue to give your users a reliable and secure experience at scale. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoy this integration and see you guys in the next video.